It's a cold one. Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a whopping. Why can't you guys read that? 25 freaking degrees out. This is the coldest morning of this year yet so far. And holy cow, am I regretting waking up. <laughs> oh, it's cold. <coughs> <laughs> I at least got 20 layers of clothes on and the stand I have to ride into once I get to the deer club I got to ride the razor in about a mile and then walk another half mile I'm kind of regretting all my life decisions right now. Let's just let's just send it. We got to kill a deer today All right boys, we are at the old clubhouse right now and I'm starting to regret everything that I had planned uh, It is fucking cold it's like a total 25 degrees and I have to ride the razor into the stand I want to go to for a solid mile. I think the only other option I have other than that stand is to go to the club or go to the big stand which I don't have much faith in. But the stand that I was wanting to go to, I haven't hunted it since last year. It's a ladder stand and I think the straps might be either broke, rotted, weak. I think I'm just going to go with the good bet of uh, trying to stay warm. All right, boys, we're kind of in a hurry because, uh, well, if you guys can see all that, the sun is currently coming up. So we gotta go. We have made it to the stand, boys. I don't have much luck in killing one here, but uh, let's send it. Well, the sun is just now coming over the trees. One deer spotted. I know you guys just watched that footage. I'm not sure as of right now what kind of deer that was. Obviously, it was a buck. He's out looking for does. It's prime rut right now. That stand I was planning on going to, if there was a big one in the area that we haven't got on trail camera, he'd get shot out of that stand, no doubt. That stand I was wanting to go to is like a it's in the heart of the deer woods and it is just perfect just just a perfect textbook funnel i'm glad we've broke the ice we've seen one deer i have a very strong feeling we might only see one or two more and i have a super strong feeling we're not going to be able to kill a doe today so stay tuned because uh, i'm out here trying to get deer meat oh and if we do shoot one scope cam gonna be lit I have no clue where those, there's another, that's a big deer, that's a big body deer. That's, that's the hit list one. So what just happened was three or four does came through, they just popped out and I was like, oh shit, where did they come from? And they were already moving along. And like I was saying earlier, it's prime rut right now. And that same group of does is usually in here on this corn in the mornings, or was. So I filmed them, started filming myself, and then I seen a big bodied deer step out. And I'm pretty sure that deer was on our hit list. The coal buck. All these deer are coming out right in that area, which makes me think they're bedded on the power line right down here. We left all this up down here for them deer to bed in like they're doing but we got a stand right above it. Great, great rut stand. When these does are getting hot and these bucks are checking these bedding areas, great buck stand. I thought about hunting there this morning, but it's the same problem. That stand's really hard to get to. So, we're running into a dilemma. Let's see if something changes and they come within 200 yards. All right, so. Sorry if this camera is bad quality. I know, I'm filming on the camcorder because the G7X is on the gun for scope cam. Anyhow, I figured out what these deer are doing. These deer are crossing the power line in the bottom of the creek. So, let me take you guys over here. That right, that right there, that's a creek. It's about six foot deep and deer can walk through it without being seen. And then over there, it makes a hard turn and it kind of shallows out. These deer are crossing the power line in the creek so we can't see them and then coming out right here. I had a doe 
bust out through the gas line side full sprint. And I was like, alright, there's going to be a buck behind her. You know, six, seven minutes goes by, nothing. And then I catch a glimpse in the power line. I was like, what was that? And it was right there on that creek. I knew I was seeing something. I was like, alright, if a deer pops out here in the next 15 seconds, they're using that creek to run through here. And 15 seconds later, buck pops out. Now, I'm pretty sure I probably just caught the glimpse of his antlers coming through that creek, which is all grown up, which really surprises me that I caught that, but that was probably a good deer, and I couldn't find my grunt call in time. All these hot does, they're running left, out to the left, past the gas line. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to walk down there, because I, I, really I, I really need some deer meat today, so if we don't get one in this stand, I'm going to walk down through there and... Uh, See if we can't bust one up and shoot one with the muzzle loader. <laughs> These does are hauling ass through there. Oh, I see him. He's coming, boys. Can't hear me this far away. A little update. I keep telling myself, you're not going to see another deer. Just, just, let's just go home. Because, you know, I'm freaking freezing. Sorry for the lighting. What is this camera doing? I really need to go pick up another camera. But anyhow. There's been three does, four does bust through there, full sprint, and then having a buck following them. And then those three does with that one big uh, coal buck that's on the hit list go through there. They're all headed the same direction, which is weird, but uh, I might go walk that way. Those bucks, when they get behind those does, they don't pay attention to nothing else. You can about walk up on one. There's probably going to be a buck behind her, boys. But that's going to be dinner if I can get a camera set up god dang it I was not expecting that gun to go off holy cow that trigger is light I have no clue if I hit that deer that trigger I touched it the gun went off dang it I mean I literally I don't know if it was the gloves or what alright let's just see here <laughs> I wish I would have done that before I shot a deer with it. That look, 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 look. It, it is so light. You touch the trigger and the gun goes off. Dang it! That was 200 yards, no doubt. Oh, it's gonna be hard getting on blood with that one. I need to watch this footage. I have no clue if I hit that deer. That's like the first deer in a very long time. I wasn't sure if I hit or not. All right, boys, we are back on the G7X. No clue if I hit that deer. I should have remembered this trigger on this gun is stupid sensitive. I touched it with the gloves on, the gun just went off, and I was like in shock, because I didn't, as soon as I shot, I just, I knew, I, I just was not ready for it. And uh, the gun just, even last year, when I let Julius, I've never shot this, I'm, okay, first off, I've never shot this muzzleloader before. Usually deer rifles have like a four pound trigger, you know, four-ish pounds, three-ish, this thing is like <laughs> featherweight. I was not expecting it out of it. Julius did the exact same thing last year, but the deer was at 40 yards, so not 200, so there's a lot, there's a big difference in that. We're gonna go down here, look for blood, and I really want some deer meat, but I do not need to get my expectations up. I watched the video, I was holding for holdover. That's why I was holding on the deer's back. I mean, 200 yards, the gun sighted in at 100 yards, I was expecting, I, honestly, I have no clue how much it was gonna drop, but uh, or I know a couple years ago with this same muzzle loader, we shot a, my buddy, I took him hunting, he shot a deer at 250 yards with it. No, he shot, there's a deer right there. I'm gonna put you guys on scope cam. Guys, see him? False alarm. I was about to blow the ears off that deer, but uh, it's a spike. That little dude's lucky. I was about to take him home. <laughs> Thinking about it, I am kind of worried about that doe I shot. I feel like I was almost aiming too high on her. This deer, this deer's headed over to where I shot this doe like he sees something. Maybe he smells her or sees her laying dead. He went right in where I shot that doe at. All right, we're gonna give it a couple minutes, let this spike move on out of the way, and uh, then head on down there. So here's the deal. No clue if I hit this deer or not. It's about 30 minutes before I'd usually leave the stand. Holy cow, it's cold. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go down here to try to see if I can't find any blood and just pray I did get her. I mean, when that gun went off, I wasn't even on target of where I wanted to be. I was just getting my finger on the trigger to get ready to squeeze. I touched the trigger and that damn thing went off. Holy cow. It scared me. I was not planning on shooting at that moment. Let's just go see if, uh, let's go see what happened. See if we can't get on no blood. It is just not looking good, boys. I don't think I hit her at this point. There's no obvious blood of me hitting her or any sign. I watched the video back. The video made it look like it, she didn't react to it. I was not expecting that at all. All right, so I'm over here at the truck, just so we're clear. No primer in the gun. <laughs> God. I don't know if I should laugh at it or be pissed in the moment when it went off when it wasn't supposed to. I was pissed. But literally, I just did it again. Ow! Pinky. It's nothing. I'm going to go home. We're going to talk about this. I'm, I'm just now coming out the woods. I found found a feather. Yeah, you guys like it? Um, Very disappointed today. I did see a lot of deer. The rut is full swing right now. But I'm probably not going to come back hunting until rifle season, which is about four days. So we'll be doing that here shortly. But I want to go show you guys what just happened and how I missed that deer. I mean, I've been hunting all my life and I've missed very few deer in my lifetime, honestly. I mean, I've killed a ton of deer, but missed deer, not that often. Bow, rifle, it doesn't matter. Pistol. Uh... I'm very salty about this one. I feel disgusted because if that was a big buck, holy cow would I be pissed. Obviously I was also using a scope cam, so I'm kind of holding the gun like this, but yeah, let, let's just go home. What's the news report? What's the news report? You don't want to know, bro. You don't want to know. It was awful, bro. <laughs> What's in your hat? It's a feather. You like it? <laughs> yeah. I already showed everybody. They all loved it. So I didn't get to hunt the stand I wanted to hunt. I was wanting to hunt that ladder stand deep back. You know, I told you I'd ride a mile in on the razor and and then walk in like another half mile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Screw that. <laughs> it was too cold. So I went to the big stand. A bunch of deer. I mean, tw I seen 12-ish, I think. They're chasing big time, so the rut is on, so I'm ready to get back in the stand, but I did shoot. That's what matters. I want you, I, hold on. I want you to do something. Dude, put your finger on this trigger. Whoa. Dude, that's so touchy. Oh I know, God. and I knew to watch for it, but I was figuring, so you know, with my deer rifle, I always, you know, line up the shot, you get ready, you know, put it on the deer, flick off safety, put your finger on the trigger, and then slowly squeeze through. No, you put your finger on the trigger, it just goes off. Like, and I was in gloves, so that makes it 10 times worse being in gloves. Cause I couldn't, I literally, honestly, when the gun went off, I never felt the touch of the trigger because I had the gloves on and that's just how sensitive that trigger is. I'm putting that trigger, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna put this trigger on a uh, uh, trigger scale. Oh, is that the right terminology? And uh, just see, I bet this thing's under two pounds. I'm curious to see, I know I didn't hit the deer, I searched for blood for ever and could not find any blood, but uh, I'm curious to see what exactly happened, because you know, I did watch it, but I was watching it through a little viewfinder, so let's go watch this footage. All right, so we're gonna pull up these files real quick. 200 yards right now, I searched all through that area for blood, could not find anything. And I mean, it was a, it was a good sized doe, it was a 100 pound doe, I oh, still got the feather. This is probably a 100 pound doe. And uh, I was just, all the deer I've been seeing were 300 yards and beyond. And like, that's no problem for my deer rifle. But uh, muzzleloader, you, you start getting past 200 yards, you're just, you're starting to sling them. So I wanted to be within 200 yards. And this one came out and I was like, yo, let's go. All right, here's where I was, think I get ready to shoot. Yep, I cock it back. Let's see. Ideal shot would have been right there. I do not have a bubble level on this gun. And since I was kind of freehanding it on your tilt, if your gun's not level, you're not gonna be able to use these little markers if the gun's not level, because it could go four inches to the left, four inches to the right. Okay, let's say if it drops four inches, it could go four inches to the left, it could go four inches to the right. I mean, without a bubble level, or knowing your gun is level, 
uh, left and right, your scope or anyway, whatever I'm trying to say, you're not as precise as you think you are. And so that would have been the ideal shot. The bullet would have dropped five inches, four inches, and it would have put it right in the boiler room. This is when I just go to put my finger on the trigger to get ready to shoot. I'm putting my finger on the trigger here. It just goes off. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, bro, you just had panic, blah, blah, blah. You just, you just fucking, you just jerked the, tr you just had doe fever and jerked the trigger. No, that gun, it, it honestly scared me when the damn thing went off because I just was not anticipating it and was not ready. And as soon as it went off, I knew it was not good. Now, I knew the, the crosshairs were on the deer. And honestly, let's go back. Let's try to get it to freeze frame. That's when I shot. I couldn't find any blood. The deer didn't act like it was hit, but that looks like it should be a dead deer. It's possible it the gun was canted and it went too far to the left, and that's how I missed, or it was a lot further than I thought, but I mean, I walked it back and forth, and it was kind of far. It might have been pushing 210 yards, but the drop on it shouldn't have been too, too dramatic. Uh, so it's possible I went right under the deer, and it's also possible the gun was canted and it went low and left. But I could not find any blood. I don't know what to think. Let's put these uh, guns on the, uh, where is it? Put these triggers on the scale and uh, see what these things are reading just to prove my point. So I don't look like, I don't want to look like a bad shot. Although I do take full responsibility. I should have been shooting that gun, shooting with that gun and practicing with it. I've, that's the first time I've ever even shot it. But uh, I mean, I was pretty certain that it wouldn't be a problem. And uh, well, there, there was a problem. Let's do uh, my deer rifle first. Three pounds. Let's try again. Two and a half pounds. Let's try the old AR. Five and a half pounds. Now let's try this damn thing. Oh, that's not even a pound. 14 ounces. It, hit, it broke at 14. Again. 15 it's literally not even a pound trigger 15 or we got 14 ounces on the first reading a couple 15s a couple 14s and a couple pounds uh, But oh my gosh, yo, I'm just ready for rifle season and I hope you guys are too y'all got a smudge on the lens <sighs> That's better Hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I hope y'all learned something from this video because, you know, I learned something from this video. That's for damn sure. What can you do? What's done is done. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, please like. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes and we'll do some gun hunting videos. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.